In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an archive layout with Beaver Themer. To get started, I'm going to create a new theme layout, and I'll give it a name. And then I will choose Archive. In my location settings, I'm going to choose the archives for my posts. Um, if I was creating archives for other post types, I could choose those if I wanted to, but we'll just do this archive for our posts and we'll choose post archive and we'll also set it up for the different taxonomies like categories and tags. Once that's done you can go over and click edit theme layout and you'll see the uh, default archive layout that we have set up for you and you can go ahead and start customizing this so there's a number of different things you can do we have um, a handful of different archive modules here uh, like the title and description for the archive and then some different post layouts that you could drop in which are essentially just pre-configured post modules. So I'll go ahead and, and just start customizing this. One fun thing we can do is we can actually set the background of this row to the uh, featured image and even though this is an archive, it's going to pull in the featured image of the uh, first post on the page. So that's kind of fun. And I'll go ahead and give it an overlay color just so it uh, the text shines through a little bit. And there we go. There's our archive page header. And I'll go ahead and give this row a little bit of padding here. Great. Now we can start customizing our post layout. And in archive pages, the post layout uses the post module. And what it's doing is actually in our content tab, rather than a custom query where you have to define the parameters um, for the post that it's going to pull, we can actually say just pull from the main query on the page. So you don't have to worry about setting it up. Any kind of archive you, that you're on, it'll just automatically pull the posts from you because WordPress has already loaded those posts up. In terms of layout, we give you four different layout types here with columns being a new one. Um, it's similar to masonry, although it works just slightly different in terms of layout. But you have these four different uh, types of layouts that you can do and then you get different settings for how you can tweak the layout like spacing and padding and alignment and uh, a few different things like for example I can hide the author um, and I can shorten up the excerpt and if I have WooCommerce installed and I'm editing WooCommerce archives I get some stuff for uh, those as well different things that we, we can show and you also get some styling settings here as well. Um, if you want to, you know, like get rid of the border for the uh, the posts, um, or if you want to set a background color, uh, lots of different things that you could do there. So, for example, I'll go ahead and actually just give this a white background color, and then we'll we'll give the uh, the row um, a color in a minute, and then we'll see what that looks like. If you want to go beyond what's possible with uh, all these different layout and styling settings, you can actually choose to uh, pick a custom um, post layout. And what that's going to do is it gives you this right here where you can pop it open and you'll see you have you can write your own HTML and CSS for your post layouts. Um, this CSS can be generic as you see here and we'll go ahead and prefix it for you for your module so it's not going to affect anything else on the page. In terms of your HTML, you'll see we have our field connection short codes um, here, like one for the uh, post title, um, the author name, the date, and all that good stuff. Um, we have one for the featured image here and you also see that it is wrapped in a conditional short code, this WPBBF. And what that says is basically if the featured image exists, it'll go ahead and render out that markup. And if it doesn't, it won't. To insert a short, uh, field connection shortcode, if you're not familiar with that, just go ahead and place your cursor where you want it. And then pop open the field connections menu. 
and here I'll just in, in click this insert button I'll go ahead and insert the uh, comments number and there you have it right there it's inserted it for us uh, below the uh, post title and there you have it right there so if you want you can code your own post layouts but you can get pretty far with what we have here once you're done go ahead and click save and like I said we can give this row a background color to see what that looks like make it full width and we'll go ahead and give it a color That way those posts pop a little bit more. And there you have it, our custom archive page with Beaver Themer. Once you're done, just click Publish Changes. And then we can actually just go pop over to our blog. And while well, it looks the same because we were previewing it as the main blog page, but for example, if I go and I jump into a category, this category here, you'll see it's going to go ahead and pick up the posts that are in that category. And that's creating a custom archive page with Beaver Themer.